Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel. 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 Good morning, YouTube. It's your boy Aiden here, and today is officially the first day of surgery prep. Got my antibacterial soap I've got a shower with today, and I also get to, so I have to wash with antibacterial soap, and then I also have to wash with this scrubby thing that I introduced everyone to a couple of days ago. I woke up in a, a good mood today. Also felt the baby kick this morning, so that was really exciting. Generally feels movement a good amount, but I have yet to really feel something. So this morning was the first like real kick I felt, so that was super exciting to wake up to. Um, otherwise, I'm working here, uh, answering emails, trying to prep out some events for August. Yeah, today is, I'm, I'm feeling good today. Got some good vibes going today. Mostly today is going to be like cleaning. I need to clean a lot, a lot, a lot. I need to make a video um, for something I can't talk about yet. And I need to clean this house. I've been cleaning throughout the week, but um, since tomorrow is the official uh, pre-surgery day, it's surgery eve. Um, I want to make sure that I don't have anything actually planned tomorrow so I could just relax and just like do what comes up because you know there's going to be something that I totally forgot to do tomorrow. I have to stop eating at 3 p.m. Jay Lee! Jay Lee! I just realized something. I'll have to see what she has to say. Hey, Pants. Hmm? So I just realized we have Jean's party tomorrow. Yeah. I can't eat after 3 p.m. tomorrow. After 3? After 3 p.m. I cannot eat. I thought they said after midnight. No, after 3 p.m. I have to take that, that drink. That nasty drink. I could have sworn they said don't eat after midnight. Are you sure? Maybe I'm not sure. I think you should look. I'm gonna look. Because I'm pretty sure you were like, yeah, well, I'm gonna be in bed before then anyways. Because they I'm said midnight. I'm gonna look. I'm pretty sure. Looking through all the paperwork here. Um, <clears throat> this is what it says. Are you listening? Pants? What this is what it says. Magnesium citrate, 300 cc's. Drink at 3 p.m. the day prior to surgery with about four glasses of clear liquid. Take clear liquids only after 3 p.m. Stop clear liquids three hours prior to surgery. I can't eat after 3 p.m. tomorrow. Why doesn't that sound like what, what they said? That's always what I thought, was that I couldn't eat after 3 p.m. I just remember when we went... It says to stop clear liquids three hours prior to surgery, and I said, I'll be sleeping. Oh, okay, maybe that's what I heard then? Because why would I take the magnesium citrate, or whatever it's called, and shit my brains out, if then I just can't, if, and then eat again? That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that makes sense. They get to party without me. Yeah, we'll have to. You get a party without me. Make some really early dinner for you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some air am air burgers. <laughs> Just like air. <laughs> so we're coming up with the list. I almost just fell. Water. I got coconut water and water post 3 p.m. Tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. And then we got some stool softener that the doctor that the surgeon recommended. Um, I'll be taking that the day of. And then um, anything else? The antibacterial soap. Oh, the antibacterial soap that I need to wash with. And then I have over here. I have all of my medicines. So I have the bromelain, which all these things I'll start the day of. I'll start the oxycodone, obviously. This will only be as needed. And then the ibuprofen will be every eight, every six hours as needed. So the doctor said I should take this on top of the oxycodone because um, what will happen is they overlap. So the oxycodone is every six, I mean, the ibuprofen is every six hours and the oxycodone is every three hours. So she said, you know, take an ibuprofen and an oxycodone, 
wait and see if you need to take another oxycodone or if the ibuprofen as well because in her theory is that if after 24 hours 48 hours i should be able to just switch to the ibuprofen and that's my plan i don't want to take oxycodone if if i'm not in pain you know it's a pretty intense uh narcotic so yeah we're gonna stick with the ibuprofen for as long as possible <laughs> and then i also have my Arnica, um, I probably need another Arnica, babe, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Another one of these little guys, if you want to put that on the list. Arnica? Yeah, I'll probably need another Arnica. This is just, um, I'm supposed to take five of these three times a day. And there's, you know, this is probably two or three days worth, but might as well get it now, right? What's the... Uh, Arnica Montana, 30C. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here at Rite Aid, and this is what I have to drink. Yeah, this does not look fun at all. <laughs> all right, so you know when you think you know something, you're like, I got this, it's good, we're golden. And then you're fucking wrong. <laughs> That's what just happened. So I was eating these quinoa puffs that I just swore, I swore that they were part of the diet. And, you know, I'm actually getting to the bottom of the bag. I might even have it on my face. And I just think, I'm gonna look at this. I'm just, I'm gonna look at the back of the bag. Well, thank God I looked at the back of the bag because it's freaking organic cane sugar. I was just like, are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> so I'm just kind of going off of like, all right, it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's one item out of every item I've eaten in the last however many days, weeks possibly. Because I haven't had cane sugar in at least weeks, but I've had other kinds of honey and stuff like that. But Wow, that was just like, serious? <sighs> the other thing I wanna say is I'm gonna take a little turn on this video. So I think that right now, um, all my, you know, everything I bought today is just kinda like stuff that I needed, right? Stuff that my doctor told me I needed. So nothing new, nothing different. You take it how it's told by your doctor or surgeon to take it. And so I wanted to kind of take a little twist at the end of this video and say something that probably doesn't flow with the video necessarily, but at the same time, I just feel like, whatever, that's what this these vlogs are about, right? Just like being real. I want to talk a little bit about believing in yourself. And I want to talk about this because I think so many of us are taught not to believe in ourselves. Like we're just taught that we're not good enough, where it will never be good enough, that something will always happen, that the other shoe is just waiting to drop, as they say. And I feel like this holds a lot of people back, just so many people, including myself sometimes. I wanted to say in this video, since if you're still watching, I have your attention, um, then, you know, just start believing more in yourself. Just little things, you know? Um, if this surgery, like, no one's telling me to get this surgery. No one's telling me I need it. No one's saying um, the best way to do it. Well, people are, but <laughs> I'm believing in myself. I'm believing that the choice I'm making is the right choice, and it's the choice that feels best for me, which means I'm going to be served the best with my surgery process because it's the one I truly believe in. So I just want to say that, like, believe in yourself a little bit more. Um, and I say that be to you because I'm also saying it to myself, so. All right, well, I've only got one day left. Uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. If you like the video, like the video. Uh, if you have any thoughts, comment below. It's been cool to read thoughts and converse back and forth with everybody. So, catch you in the next video. Peace.